Good morning. So I'm going to be doing a short um, recording of um, doing some unit testing with um, <coughs> NUnit and uh, a WPF application. So uh, my um, WPF application is here. I'm just going to go into this. I'm going to um, extract this from um, the zip file. I'm going to put it in with the rest of my source code, which is on my uh, D drive and source um, repository folder. <coughs> okay, so now it's uh, here. I'm going to um, click there, go into here, double click on the solution file. All right, so it's going to beef a little about opening it from uh, the internet. So here I am. Um, this project is um, structured like a fairly simple um, WPF project. Um, I have everything in the main window um, .xaml file. Uh, I'm going to write one, one test uh, for this, uh, but before I can do that, I'm going to just test the, the login. But if you look at the um, implementation of the login, oh, well, there's this is just the login um, button, so that's not the implementation of the login. Let's look at this button submit. Okay, this looks better. This looks more like the implementation of the login. So, um, if you look at this, um, the implementation is very much tied um, in with the WPF framework. So um, that's not um, very testable. So what we need to do is we need to break out um, an object that we can um, use to log in, and then we can test that object um, by itself. So um, we do have some other objects in the project already under um, sales records here. So we're going to make um, a login object um, today and we're going to um, test it and then I'll integrate it back into the WPF structure. So I'm going to put it um, in here. Okay, so uh, the first thing I do is I add um, <coughs> a test project to my uh, final project uh, solution. So I do, um, I right click over the solution, go to add, new project, and I just search here for test. And uh, because we use NUnit in the, in the slides, I'm going to pick NUnit here. There are some other choices as well, but we'll stick with NUnit. Okay, so um, I'm going to call it final project test. Okay, and that's going to put it in my same um, my same folder as my um, solution file. Okay, so I'll let it do that. And um, if it, it scaffolds me one um, test, uh, unfortunately, it's not a very useful test. So I'm just going to just to make sure that I can um, run my test. I'm going to do. It's just assert r equal true false. Okay, and then um, because I'm in a test here, I can right click and do run tests. It'll bring up the test explorer, and bam. I have a failing test. Okay, um, which is to be expected here, but I really just wanted to see um, to see it work. So I'm going to um, reuse that test in a minute, or I'm going to make a I'm going to make a new test from that in a minute. 
Um, but before I can do that, I have to add um, this project, this final project, to my final test project as a dependency. So I've got to be able to use this, um, use this code here um, in my tests. So I scroll down here. I click on dependencies. I right click. I do add project reference. VS Code is uh, or Visual Studio. I mean, it's smart enough-ish to know what I want to do. So I click OK. And now I'm going to refactor this test um, to test the login. OK, so I'm going to call this test good um, login. And I'll put a string here. Um, <coughs> admin slash admin um, should be a good login. Okay, so now I can um, run this again and um, Surprise, surprise, it should still fail. And it still does. Okay, it fails with a different message though. It fails admin slash admin should be a good um, login. And it has the title of the test um, here. So um, now what I want to do is um, I want to make a new um, class for logging in. So I'm going to call that class the user class. And I'm going to um, make the structure of the class like this. So um, Okay, so um, that's um, a good test, but um, unfortunately, um, I can't even try to run it. It's not even a failing test yet. And uh, the reason is that I don't have um, any user object. So um, I've got to do some um, scaffolding then to make the um, test even fail. So um, I'm going to make a user object. I'm going to do it in the sale records here. Add a new class. Okay, my class is going to be, um, it's highlighted here. My class is going to be user. Yeah, click add. We're going to make it a public class. Then we'll do public uh, bool. Log in. Um, we'll give it a string. S user. Breaking the rules here. string pwd as far as me breaking the rules old habits die hard but I um, tried to put the um, type so I tried to use um, Hungarian um, notation but uh, in the lecture I said that that wasn't a, a good idea so I'm trying to um, fix my ways <coughs> so right now I'm going to just return 
um, false. So that'll be a <coughs> failing test. So if we go back to look at this, um, I'm just going to save everything. All right. What's a steal here? Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to import the. I need to put the f um, file in here. So I need to do a using statement to use the namespace. Okay, so now I should have a failing test. If I right click here, do run tests. It'll go through, and um, admin slash admin isn't a good login. Um, of course, we know it isn't a good login. So um, now we're going to do an implementation. So we've got red. So in test driven development, we do red green um, red testing. So here's here's our here's our red. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Just uh, get some space on my screen. Now I'm going to do the implementation of um, a good login. Um, the implementation is kind of here already. So if I go back to my button submit, click. So I can do something like um, this. Take uh, take these. Um, actually, hold on. Let's let's get a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to um, copy that a little bit. So it's kind of an implementation. Paste this into here. Going to get rid of some of this. I'm not going to use. So instead of returning false all the time, so it's going to be true. Um, here, let's put a parenthesis here. And we'll do an AND symbol. I think if, they're, if the strings are equal, it returns zero. Okay, so we've got. Um, almost everything here except I've um, redefined user and password so I'm gonna rename this to be good user and we're gonna make this good PWD okay and now I can refactor this to be good um, user and good PWD. Okay, and we can get rid of this return false here. And now um, my test should pass when I run it again. So I just um, clicked on save all here. Right click in here. To run tests and now my um, test pass so I don't have anything um, showing up in here and I have a green check mark here okay so um, we're gonna write one more test um, we're gonna test a bad um, login as well so this time I'm just gonna 
um, copy. Ah, sorry, switching back and forth from the, my Mac and my PC. Okay, so here we have the test, so now I'm going to do a test bad login. Here we have okay. So admin slash anything else. Should be pass password. Should be a bad login. Okay, so um, now we'll um, run this. I'm going to leave this as true, so it'll it'll fail first, and then I'll uh, fix the test so it'll pass. So I'll do run test. Okay, ran my test. Okay, so admin anything else should be a bad login. Expected true. So now my, my test has a problem rather than um, my implementation. So I can fix this test just by putting a false here. Now when I run my tests, um, they all pass and they go away in here. So this was my problem that I had. Uh, I tried to do my demo in class. I forgot that they uh, disappeared from here when they were all when they were all passing. But I can still see they're all passing here. Yeah. So um, that's a simple um, test. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that we have left to do is to put this user object back into the um, program. So we want to refactor um, this code, um, change it, button submit click here. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to do user um, what do we call it? Um, login user equals new user okay okay I don't need any of this okay so I'll do a bool result equals user I'm um, sorry login user dot login txt okay so here we'll do um, result if result Good, except I've got one too few out braces. 
then I'll just right click and do um, maybe not no it doesn't look like there's an easy quick way for, for me to reformat my code I can I can do this okay so now it's um, better implemented so now I have um, my uh, login um, taken up by an object, um, which I also have a test for. Okay, so um, I would take the rest of this then. Um, I already have a number of objects here. So I would write tests then um, to um, create and use these objects. Um, you're going to have um, a little bit of trouble doing that because these objects don't do very much yet. So um, I would put validation into them. I would also make them um, save in the database and write some tests to see if you can um, save and retrieve them from um, from the database. But um, you asked me to write um, one test. That's what I've um, that's what I've done. So I'm gonna um, leave it leave it here for you to uh, implement the rest.